Hey, I'm Jackie and thanks for clicking on this video. As you can see by the title, it's a mini bookshelf tour. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you my mini bookshelf. It may be small, but it has a lot of lovely books. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is my top bookshelf. If you can see in the back there, this is where it starts. It's alphabetized by author, and if there's multiple authors, they go in the front. So it starts from here, it goes this way, then there's book, books at the bottom, they go up, then it starts here and goes there. Then it goes to here, up, here, and then up. Yeah, it's a little complicated, but it's okay. This is my second shelf. Everything on this side I've read, and it actually starts at the bottom and goes up, and anything I couldn't fit there goes on the front. There's two books there. And then all of these books that you see here are unread, and these as well. And this is just the book cover, City of Heavenly Fire. So here it is. Let's start with this. I have Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Then I have Go Ask Alice by Anonymous, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, Audrey Waite by Robin Benway, Hate List by Jennifer Brown. I don't really recommend this book. It took me a while to read and I honestly just didn't like the main character. I don't even remember her first name. It's uh, Valerie. Yeah, I really didn't like this book. Revenge of the Girl with the Great Personality by Elizabeth Yulberg. Next is The Lonely Hearts Club, also by Elizabeth Yulberg. This book actually got me liking the Beatles because I never actually listened to them before. But then I read this and I was intrigued by all the songs they talked about. And the daughters are actually named after them. There's Penny, there's Rita, and Lucy. So I liked this. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I actually almost didn't read this series. Um, but a friend of mine read it and loved it, and I saw all these people on Tumblr loved it, and I decided to give it a try, and yes, it was a little slow at times and repetitive, because Thomas would always complain about not knowing anything, but I liked it, and I can't wait to read the second one. Here we have the Hunger Games trilogy. I've actually read the first two, both in eighth grade, and I waited and waited and waited for Mockingjay to be in paperback, because I wanted them to match. But it never came out, and I actually just read it um, just a few months ago, actually. <laughs> and I was disappointed. I didn't like it at all. I felt it was very, very slow, and it just, I felt like nothing really happened until, like, the end. And I was still just, I was just bored. But I am looking forward to the movie, because the trailers were awesome. Now we have here, these are my kind of guilty pleasure books, because they're, very cliche, but I just like reading those. Like, anyone would like reading something kind of cliche every now and then. When It Happens by Suzanne Colasanti. Take Me There by Suzanne Colasanti. And this is the, actually the first one I read. Really liked it. Something Like Fate by Suzanne Colasanti. Really like this one as well. So Much Closer by Suzanne Colasanti. This one is my favorite because it's such a funny idea. It's about a girl who follows a guy that she likes all the way to New York and her dad lives in New York so she just decides to live with her dad so she could tell this guy that she likes him. <laughs> it's very interesting and very fun to read. Then we have Keep Holding On also by Suzanne Colasanti. This book is actually very sad. It's about a very very poor girl and her mom doesn't pay enough attention to her and it's it's very sad. Next we have Bunheads by Sophie Flack. I really like this book because I've never read anything with ballerinas and I really love, love ballerinas. Um, and yeah, it's, it's very nice. I liked it a lot. I would recommend it if you like ballerinas. <laughs> this is Beastly by Alex Flynn. Don't freak out. I know this looks terrible, but I did not do this. I actually lent it to a friend and I she had it for a while. I'm not even sure if she finished it, but when she handed it back to me, it looked all like this. And yes, I was very, very surprised. But yes, this is what happened. <laughs> Next we have Perfect by Natasha Friend. 
Next is Babe in Boyland by Jody German. I like this book. It, it seems stupid, but first of all, I like the yellow side because I don't have any yellow books. And also, it's just about a girl who pretends to be a guy so she can learn how guys are. And I think that is so interesting. Next, we have Looking for Alaska by John Green. John Green is my absolute number one favorite author, and that will never, ever change, because I don't think you can be better than John Green, I, in my opinion. I actually, I read, I got all of his books, and I read them in order of publication, so I read this one first, and immediately fell in love with this book. It's just beautiful, and I can't even explain it. All of his, all of his writing is beautiful. I actually also have An Abundance of Catherines, and I also read that, again, I loved it, but one of my friends is actually borrowing it right now, so <laughs> it would have gone in over here. Next is Paper Towns by John Green. This is definitely one of my favorites. I think my favorites would be The Fault in Our Stars, but this is definitely probably my second favorite. I also have Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, but it's up on top of my bookshelf because one of my friends is going to borrow it soon, so that's why it's not here. If it was, it would be in the front because it has two authors. Next, we have Impulse by Ellen Hopkins. I've also read Identical, and that book is crazy. Like, the end, you'll never expect it, and I, I love that so much. I like this too, but I really think Identical is my favorite of all of her books. Here we have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. I absolutely love this book. I really do. It's one of, one of the greatest trilogies I've ever read, and I cannot wait for November for the third one to come out, because I've been waiting so long. I read the second one last summer, so it's, it's been quite a long time. <laughs> but actually, in the back, I have something I printed from my website. It's an extra little scene in Noah's point of view, so that was really cool. Here we have The Evolution of Mara Dyer, also by Michelle Hodkin. I love the covers. They're so nice. And it's also one of those really soft covers, too, so that's really fun. Here we have Geography Club by Brent Hardinger. This actually, it's very short. It's its interesting, though. Like, it's its good. It's about a gay kid, and they're, they start a club. They call it Geography Club, so no one else joins. But it's kind of like a secret um, gay-straight alliance club. And also, they made it into a movie, and it's on Netflix right now, and it's... They change a lot of things, but I did like it. It was good. Here we have just a little classic mythology book by Edith Hamilton. I just really love mythology, and I haven't really read all this, but I did read a lot of the beginning. And you'll, you'll come to know something about me. I highlight in my books. Almost all of my books that you see here have highlights. So, yeah. Sorry if, they, if that makes you upset, but I just like doing that. Yeah. And here is The Fall in Our Stars by John Green. I actually got this for my birthday, and it got scratched. I don't know what happened. And it makes me really upset that the cover's ruined. And the back happened on the bag, too. But I'll have to deal with it, because this is the exclusive collector's edition. And I absolutely love this book. Some people, some people don't like it, and they call... I don't know. They say that the characters were kind of cliche in some ways, and too pretentious and predictable, and... If even if I disagree, I mean it is just opinions, and I just I love this book so so much. Here we have *The Secret Year* by Jennifer R. Hubbard. This is actually really short, and I was gonna get it on my Nook. Yes, I have a Nook, <laughs> but it's only for books that I really can't get in physical form. I was gonna get it in my Nook because I heard that this wasn't in like a printed version. But then I found it at this store we have called Ollie's for like a dollar and like, I don't know, 49 cents. So I was like, well, duh, I'm going to get this instead of $7 on my nook. So I've got this and it's actually really good. Here I have Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones. There's th like two or three others to this series and I'm so excited because this is my favorite Ghibli film. And if none of you know what Ghibli is, go look up Ghibli Studios. It's amazing. I love all of them so much, but this is my favorite film, and when I heard it was a book, obviously I was going to buy it. And I bought it a long time ago, and I read it a long time ago, but yeah, there's a lot of differences, but I love this so much. Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. This is super short, again, another short book, but um, it's, it's actually a lot different from the movie, if you've seen the movie. The chapters, like, she has little 
I don't know, diagnosis pages. And then the chapters are just kind of just like memories, like random. It's not in any order. It's, it is a memoir, but it's kind of weird in a way. And the movie seems much more like a story. So they're very different. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. So excited for the second book. I don't have it yet, but it, it's, oh, I'm so excited. This is Not Simple by Natsume Ono. It's a manga, but I like it because look at the drawings. I mean, they're weird, but in a cool way. Um, it's actually a really sad book, though, unfortunately, but I liked it. This is The Other Side of Dark by Joan Lowry Nixon. I actually read this in sixth grade and loved it, but never remember what it was called until a little while ago, so I bought it. And I didn't know it was so short. I have a lot of short books. Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I do have the second one, but I've only read this one so far. I want to read this series. Like, I don't like reading a book and not finishing the series. But I do have the second one, so I'll read it soon. But, um, yeah, I... I don't know, I didn't really like Rose very much. She seemed kind of, I don't know, bitchy and just full of herself in a way I don't like. I don't know, I did, but I will be continuing the series. I don't like having a series unfinished. I did like this though, in a way. Um, I will be finishing it. Oh, and about the movie? Oh, wow, it was laughable. I'm sorry, I hated it. I hated it so much. Legend by Marie, Ma, sorry, by Marie Lu. For, at first, this book was slow, but I, in a weird way, I, I felt like I loved it more than I think I loved it. I don't know. I'm very excited for the next one. The Giver by Lois Lowry. I really liked this. Um, I, it was, again, short. Um, I don't know about the movie, though. The movie, it looks like it changed a lot, so I might not be seeing it in theaters. I'm not sure, though. But I actually didn't get to read this as a child. I just read it now um but i liked it a lot and i'm gonna be reading the next ones this is i am number four by pittis pittacus lore <laughs> um see i saw the movie first because i didn't know it was a book but then i read it and i mean i saw the movie like four times before i read it and i never even finished it but then i was like here ish and then i finally finished it and i just i i'm not sure if i'll continue it like i said i don't like having series unfinished because I want to know what happens, but I don't know. I don't think I want to continue this. Let me know what you guys think if you want to tell me if you've read this. And this right here is just a regular psychology book. It's Psych 101 by, um, oh darn, who's it by? Oh, Paul Kleinman. <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting. There's just like basic stuff in here. I like it. Now we're on to the second row. The Book Thief Mark by Marcus Zusak. I keep messing up the names. Anyways, I love this book. I've highlighted quite a lot of stuff in here. I, this is my special highlighter. It's, it smells like lemons. Um, I, I just absolutely love this book. It looks really beat up because my grandmother sent it to me. She said she got it for like, I don't know, $2. But I, I love it. I, I don't think the movie actually captured it that well. It was good, but I don't think it, it could have been a lot better. But I love this book. This is The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger. There's actually others in this series, but I really didn't like this that much. I mean, sometimes I did, but most times I didn't. It, uh, I don't know. Um, it was given to me by my friend Lexi. She also gave me a few other books because she's like, she's like a sister to me. And she loves reading too, so. And we were going to read this together, but she never finished it and I did. So, I don't know. I'm not going to finish it. I'm not going to finish the series, is it? I mean. It's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini. Vizzini, Vizzini. <laughs> um, I liked this book uh, sometimes, and then sometimes I just kind of got annoyed because I felt like the character of Craig was not quite realistic to normal high school boys, but that's okay. I saw the movie a long time before I read it, so then I decided to read it. I, I didn't know it was a book, but um, I saw the movie with Lexi, and then I watched the trailer after I read it again, and... I don't know, it seems so different. I really hate when they change things. Anatomy of a Boyfriend by Daria Snadowski. <laughs> First of all, I was attracted to this cover because it's hilarious. Look at all the stuff on it. Don't let go, point it of the hand. <laughs> Look, Terra Incognito, that's hilarious. But um, this is short again, and it has a sequel, and I'm very excited to read that. It's called Anatomy of a Single Girl, I think, yes. And um, this book was kind of weird, but no, I really liked it. 
The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. I like this. I really did. I like I like when covers have this little short part and they have color stuff, colory stuff inside. No, I like this book and I love the font on the cover. It's just very it was very cute. The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. Um I kind of got this for free, I think. There was like this giant book fair and then my mom started taking over and they just said us said to us that we could just keep all the books we wanted and I just picked this up cuz it was the best looking one. And I read this for a project, and at first I liked it, but then it just started getting really slow, and I didn't really quite like the movie all that much, but that's okay. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I like this a lot more than I thought I would. It's kind of, it's really beat up because I got it for like a dollar at a used bookstore, but I liked it. I really did. I like Holden. I mean, he might be whiny, but I liked him. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Honestly, I was a bit disappointed because I felt like I would like this a lot more than I did. Like, I liked it, but everyone was raving, and I just felt like, I don't know. I didn't like it as much as I thought it would. And now we have the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. We have Divergent. We have Insurgent, the collector's edition. It's very shiny. And we have Allegiant, the regular version. <laughs> I love Divergent. I was okay about Insurgent. I liked the ending a lot. And then Allegiant came along. I was bored and then excited. And then the ending, I'm not going to spoil anything, but for those of you who have read it, I don't know if there's this dust on it. Um, for those of you who have read Allegiant and you know what happens at the end, oh yeah, there's a lot of frustration. I was very frustrated. I read it on the bus and so I couldn't cry. I was just kind of angry and I was like yelling at my friend Hannah because she only read the first one and I couldn't tell her what happened but I was frustrated. So frustrated! Now we come over here to this side. There's some books on the bottom. I have the first four books in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare in paperback and I got this box up for Christmas like um two Christmases ago I think. And I'm just so obsessed. I This is my favorite series, and Cassandra Clare is my second favorite author of all time, so I love them. Then we have the fifth book in hardcover, City of Lost Souls. And you've already seen that I have the sixth one somewhere. I think it's on my floor somewhere. But I love these covers. They, at first, I hated them, but I like them. I don't like seeing the faces, though, but it's okay. I can just hold, hold it like this. <laughs> I have the Infernal Devices trilogy in hardcover, but I recently lent Clockwork Angel, which looks like this, to my friend Hannah. She is obsessed with these just as much as I am, and that makes me happy. And last but not least, I've got the Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. And I'm pretty sure, yes, I think that's her husband. Um, I love this. I thought it was going to be weird, but I love it. When you open it up, look at the art. That's from the Mortal Instruments, and then this really soft... The Mortal Cup. This side is from the Infernal Devices. I just, I love this. It was such, such an interesting thing. Like, you may think it's boring, and that's okay. Because it's, it goes into in, weird info about the history of Shadowhunters. But I loved it. I do have some books up here, but they're just kind of random. This is the, oh, sorry if the camera's wiggly. This is the uh, Complete Works of William Shakespeare, and I've got a list this is just cards, like cards of every book that I have read. And then I also have some stuff that's like that. Checked out as books that are borrowed. The library was that over there, but that fell, and that's TBR. And that's just my art stuff back there. But this is uh, Alice in Wonderland, Will Grace and Will Grace. And then I've just got some a psychology book, The Odyssey, Pride and Prejudice, and Treasure Island. I'm not sure if I'll read those, but I might. And that's just some stuff right there. And now these are just the other side of my room where I couldn't fit some books and they always have to, they all have to do with, um, uh, ooh, what they're called, um, Fallen Angels, yes, Fallen Angels. So I put them all together and I'll show you them now. We have the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick. Absolutely love this series. I read this in eighth grade and then I read once almost every year. I read, I think I read the first two in eighth grade and then this went up and the same with the other series. This is Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick. Silence and finale, which um, I was spoiled by one someone's death in this while I was watching the book trailer and I decided to look at the comments. One of the worst decisions ever. I was spoiled and uh, uh, so angry. <laughs> 
This is The Fallen series by Lauren Kate. Loved the first book, the second book was okay, third one, loved that the most, fourth one, so boring, but the ending was perfect, so I'm glad about that. Torment is the second one, the third one is Passion, and the fourth one is Rapture. I think this is my favorite cover, like it's very, very elegant, I love the colors. And this is a kind of, I don't know what you call it, an arc? I don't know, I have no idea, but it's a uh, Fallen in Love, and it's just kind of in the middle of book three and four, and it's just like behind the scenes things that happened. Uh, I think arc is the wrong word, probably. <laughs> and that is all, that is all my books that I care to show you. I have like kids books on the other side, like Narnia and stuff. And I am, I am embarrassed to say I've never read Harry Potter. Don't go freaking out on me. I, I know, I know, it's pretty ridiculous. Like how does someone who loves books never read Harry Potter? I know, but um, it's just because I never, my mom was weird about them. She's like, oh, witches are evil, you know, whatever. But I, I saw all the movies and I love the movies. So soon I will get all the books. I, I want like, I want a box set of them. So I really like the new covers, so I may get those soon. We'll see, but it's like $70. And I don't have $70 right now. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, thank you all for watching this. Uh, bookshelf tour and everything and I'll leave my Twitter and my Goodreads in the description like always and once again thanks for watching bye